Let's move on to the next question. So here we have to find the first three terms of this expansion in ascending powers of x of this. So pretty easy. The first term will be, here the power is 5, so we write 5, choose 0. Here we have 2, and here we have plus x squared. Because here we have 0, this will be 0 as well. 5 minus 0 is 5, that will be 5. Next term will be plus 5, choose after 0, we have 1, obviously. Then we have 2 here, and then x squared. 1 here, 1, and that will be 4. And then the third term, that will be 2 here, and x squared. That will be square, and then that will be 3 over here. So now we just have to simplify one by one. So uh, what is 5 choose 0? This is uh, 1. 2 power 5 should be 32, but let's check. That is 32 indeed. Here we have 1, because anything power 0 is just 1, okay? And then here we have 5 choose 1 is 1, so I have 5. Here we have 16, and that will be x squared. And here we have 5 choose 2, it should be 10, let's check. It is 10 indeed. And 5, 2 power 3 should be 8, and that will be x power 4. Now simplify, that will be 32 plus 5 times 16, that should be 80. Plus the value of 80 x power 4. That is part one of the question. Now as we can see, uh, here we have hence. Hence it means we have to use part one of your answer and find the coefficient of x power 4 in this expansion. So one by one, at first we have 1 plus x square square times this expansion, which is this, right? That is from part 1. So we have to expand all this, and we only care about the coefficient in x power 4, which is the term in x power 4, right? But your answer will be just the coefficient, which is the value in front of x power 4. Now we have to simplify this one by one. First, let's expand this bracket. You will have 1 plus 2 x squared plus x power 4. Multiply by 32 plus 80 plus 80 x power 4. Now, we have to choose uh, which one uh, that we will use because we only care about the term in x power 4. Now you have choice. You have two choices. One, you can expand everything and then simplify and choose your result for your term in power 4. Or you can pick and choose which one you want to multiply so you get your answer directly. For example, here I have 1. Obviously 1 will have to multiply by, by this one, right? You will have 1 times 80x power 4. Now next one, here we have 2x squared. Obviously, you have to multiply by, by this one. So we get something in x power 4. And finally, we have this one. Obviously, we have to multiply by the constant value. To simplify, you will have 80x power 4. That will be 160x power 4 plus 32x power 4. So simplify, 80 plus 160 plus 32, that should be 272x power 4. Now, however, your answer should be just the value of a, which is the one in front, which is a coefficient, that will be 272 as your answer for this question.